brought Hitachi and DemandSys together? Well, we, we were trying to get into the battery energy storage business here in North America, and we were looking for a market participant to help us break that shell and get into the marketplace. Mr. Straka, if you could tell us a little bit more about how Christina works. Well, Christina is a lithium-ion uh, battery energy storage system, and it's more of a power type application into the marketplace. And the main focus is for the frequency regulation and auxiliary services market. Mr. Lyons, if you could talk a little bit about um, DemandSys's approach, uh, why you folks are working with Hitachi, and then if you could, uh, a little bit about the grid demon and how that works. Okay. Um, so DemandSys um, has developed a real-time energy management platform and is connected to the R ISOs and RTOs. We could receive um, instructions and signals and feedback data every few seconds. So it's a highly encrypted um, secure network where we participate in ancillary service programs for the ISOs and we're hooking up with Hitachi and we'll be managing their battery both in frequency regulation and we're going to also do a demonstration as a storage as a capacity um, a, um, a, a asset in PJM. And as you're starting to do these projects, what challenges have you had to overcome? Well, it's this is a new new area, new space, and uh, it's it's um, been we've overcome the challenge of just doing something new, right? So working with PJM through the PJMQ, working with the local utility and the towns to understand what a lithium-ion battery is, uh, siting, zoning, and uh, interconnecting with the uh, utility. And Mr. Straka, what challenges are we seeing from the Hitachi side, maybe from the technical battery com perspective? Um, well, this is a very dynamic market for this battery energy storage business, and the technologies are changing rapidly. And even inside Hitachi, we're developing some new technologies for the future. And where do we go from here in terms of deploying these solutions more widely? Um, well, currently we're going to deploy this lithium ion battery energy storage system, but we also have, and that's for the power market, and we also have our long life lead acid battery market, which is more of a capacity, more of an energy play into the market. So we're going to try to focus on both arenas, depending on what the market desires. And Mr. Lines, what's, uh, what's in the future for DemandSys? Well, working with Hitachi, we're excited about working with new opportunities for storage. There's been recent studies that says that if uh, if the renewable portfolio standards of 20% are met by 2020, that 18 gigawatts of new DR in storage will be needed. So there's a huge opportunity for storage, both connected to the grid in the transmission, in the dis distribution, and behind the meter. Um, they would be either um, um, bilateral agreements with utilities or market programs, but behind the meter we could offer reduction of the customer's demand charges, and we could also give some assurance of, of backup uh, reliability with the battery. So we, we look at it as a great opportunity to work with Hitachi to, to uh, both work with customers, utilities, and the ISOs. Well, Mr. Lines with DemandSys, Mr. Strake with Hitachi, thank you for joining us. Thank you.